CAE is an amazing company of talented men and women, and we're here because we think we can help enable risk mitigated, better, faster, more, more coherent decisions for operational commanders. We can take an incredible amount of information that comes in from all over various sensors, sources, and streams, and add that or synthesize them in a way which makes a difference and helps operational folks on the ground really decide better, faster, more precisely. Our access to information is an advantage. However, the nature of war changes so continuously and so constantly. Um, it's critical for us to stay up front in advance of what's taking place out there. There's a tremendous amount of information. Not all information is good information and uh, sometimes there's too much information. So what we're really looking for is the right information to make the right decisions at the right time to influence a positive operational outcome and to mitigate risk as much as possible. So it's important for us to stay in front, front of technological changes as much as we can and to ensure that we use all American technology advancements, um, our access to, you know, information and decision-making capabilities in advance of what our adversaries can do, right? So we can turn within their circles and make sure we make a difference faster, we mitigate more risk, and we have a greater understanding of what's taking place in the operating environment. Now, the nature of war changes all the time. Really, the fog of war to me is not being able to read minds and anticipating action, reactions, and counteractions of our adversaries. And so how then do we mitigate that? How do we use the decision-making capabilities, the risk mitigation capabilities, the battle space, operating environment, understanding of what CAE's technology brings in order for us to be able to be more thoughtful about what we're deciding to advantage ourselves operationally, to have information dominance as much as humanly possible and to be able to outthink our adversaries and make faster, better, more precise, more concise decisions. I mean, we've added cyber and space domains and really a broader understanding of what's happening um, in and around us, right? With the advent of ubiquitous technology in so many different ways and the ability of our adversaries or frankly, you know, people that are fence sitting or there in the operational area to know, see, sense, and understand what's taking place. It behooves us to use all informational capabilities and systems to our advantage. And so cyber and space in particular, whether it's the soft cyber and space nexus or the cyber and space additive capabilities to the joint force are critically important to us. CE approaches addressing the fog of war for our forces by bringing together advanced technology, data analytics, uh, to help us see, sense, and understand what's going on on the battlefield so we can leverage that for decision analytics. And so by uh, leveraging the uh, advanced data networks that we have and helping the warfighter understand uh, this all domain concept will enable them to essentially see through the fog of war and achieve that information dominance over our um, adversaries, right? And so we bring both the ecosystem uh, that underpins this big data um, network that we're bringing in multiple and various sensors at the speed of relevance into the decision-making ecosystem uh, in, in order to then make informed decisions uh, essentially at the speed of relevance because that's really what's going to set us apart in this next conflict. CAE's approach to reduce uncertainty on the future battlefield stems from the great heritage we have and the depth and breadth of CAE's training, modeling, and simulation capability to help understand uh, this data. We're platform uh, agnostic and independent, and so what we're doing is we're enabling the what is to transition into the what if. And so the more fidelity we have in bringing big data into analytics uh, in a realistic modeling and simulation environment powered by model-based physics will allow the warfighter to, to more uh, better understand the complexities of this all domain next generation battlefield and then we can leverage the what if running scenarios to reduce risk uh, and provide that greater fidelity again to help pierce the fog of war.